I think that the artist residency program needs to be custom made to the individual artist. The museums are now so structured in thinking long term, you know, having five year plans, and creativity doesn't always work that way. Sometimes the response needs to be fast and, and flexible and versatile. And so I think a museum, you know, needs to bend uh, towards an artist and help the artist f formulate new work. I'm very interested in doing like a book and then a collection maybe based on the laces of Mrs. Gardner. This one is amazing, it's like hair. One looks for artists that will approach this collection uh, with a fresh a new way, you know, with a fresh voice, with a different sparkle in the eye. I started studying the patterning of traditional clothing many years ago, and I found out that all of them are made out of squares and rectangles. See that this is a square, and then you just put together the parts and then you have more squares and more and more. Instead of trying to do something that it doesn't belong to our culture, we took this shape that we call it the square root, and from that we started to create new garments. I take these techniques that have been there for thousands of years and then take them to the present and thinking also about the future. One of the interesting things about this exhibition is that we've used many different forms to look at fashion. So we've used photography, we've used film, and we've used dance and movement, and then there'll be a lot of uh, workshops. So there's process in the making in the room. And so it's a way of looking at something from many different points of view, which is, it's an experiential way of looking at things. I put out to show you this wonderful um, velvet ecot made of silk from uh, the region what is known today as Uzbekistan. So beautiful. It is beautiful. She really loved textiles. Yes, I know. It is fantastic the way Mrs. Garner loved what fabrics because really she placed um, a beautiful fabric together with a masterpiece, painting masterpiece. You see this amazing fabric and it's framed and it's protected with glass. I think she valued all of them as for beauty and complexity, and that's what I love this museum. For me, crafts is also art. If you go to the communities, or if you go even to our workshop in Mexico City, you will see that we have the same creative process as an artist. It becomes more complex because as a fashion designer, you also have to make it wearable and then sell it, and then you have to become an entrepreneur. But the process of creating is the same. You have an idea, you put it on a paper, then you think about it, give it like many thoughts about it. And uh, after that, it becomes real when you make the object. So I always say that uh, for me the future is handmade. I truly believe it. That is what my world is about.